know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you know, it's crazy. You just brought up animals, and it made me think a, a little bit about Hannibal finding out his story of like how he controlled the the obviously the the um the elephants and everything. But that's a whole nother conversation. Bro, Hannibal, yeah, uh, that's his Halas yeah, man, he used to ride Look, the lions like yeah. a horse. Yep. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Because that's the kind of dominion we have when mm -hmm. we really do tap into what you're I, saying. Exactly. Tap like, in I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be disciplined. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let go of certain things, homie. I fast almost every day. Yeah. Almost every day. Mm -hmm. Only thing I had all day was water, herbs, and a little bit of popcorn yeah. on my way here. Yeah. And I, I'm just, I only had water. I intentionally waited because yeah. Because not for sure. let me tell you why, and let me tell you why your mind is so sharp. Mm -hmm. When you eat food and you get itis, right? Mm -hmm. Seventy percent of the body's energy is used for digestion. Correct. So when you get sleepy, it's because you have too much food on your stomach. Mm -hmm. The reason why indigenous people were so creative, the reason why they knew how to build, the reason why they the set pyramids. up. <laughs> because guess what? Exactly. What, and they were they were fasting, but also mm -hmm. they were they can only eat what they killed. So I eat meat. I just don't eat it every day with every meal. Mm -hmm. I'm a flexitarian. I okay. have to be flexible with my consumption mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, if I can go climb up a tree and grab this piece of fruit yeah i had to climb up the tree to get that fruit mm -hmm. i had to climb up the tree to get the, that honey out of that beehive and yeah. guess what whoever did they got stung mm -hmm. sometimes homie to the depth but the whole village got to eat that honey yeah see what i'm saying yeah this is this is the mindset we don't have anymore because mm -hmm. we're not connected to nature yeah you know what i'm saying we connected to toxic but not tonic mm-hmm Definitely. you know what i'm saying so that the conversation you're having with yourself saying hold on I'm going to limit myself from certain things that I know distract me. Yeah. Man, that's beautiful, bro. I appreciate it, man. When I say when I say I I I'm saluting you. I appreciate it. Because that. because it's a lonely role. You no, know, and it yeah. and it and it's and it's difficult, bro. Yeah. Let's face it. It is. You a good-looking brother, intelligent, you making money, you doing your thing, and the, the, it, that comes at you. I can eat what I want. I can be with whoever I want to be with. But I decided to do this mm -hmm. instead because it's co more connected to my purpose, yeah. bro. I that I pay homage to that. Appreciate it, appreciate for real. Now, and I, I want to shift a little bit into to 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 the movie industry. Okay, I know, I know, obviously who you are, and being mm -hmm. in this movie industry, we know what what come with it. Mm -hmm. um, and but like you said, but you're in righteous. So when you're around all these other energies, let's just keep it like that. It's like you you able to pretty much still elevate and do what you need to do. Absolutely. So I want to ask you: Is it any role that you wouldn't play? Oh yeah, it's a okay. lot. It's a ton of roles it's a ton. that I wouldn't play. Okay, and, I and got, a ton I, of roles I, I that I've it. already turned down. Okay, for sure. Because talk the, about a few that you can. So so before we talk about that, I want to say the the you know it's a lot of stars in in, in Hollywood. Yeah, right. Course, a yeah. lot of stars, a lot of celebrities, mm -hmm. but you can't you can't see a star when the sun out. <laughs> so when you come in and you the sun. Mm -hmm. And you represent that, it overshadows even a star. Correct. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Energetically. Yeah. You can have all the jewelry on. You can have the best car, the best mm -hmm. house, but you can't buy the true light. Correct. Right? Exactly. So I want to say, I'm prefacing that to say there's many roles that I won't play because mm -hmm. I am not playing the role. Mm -hmm. If I do certain things, I will actually do it. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yep. No offense to anybody who does what they do, mm -hmm. but for me... I can't put on a certain level of clothing. Exactly, of course. Not. On TV because I really put that on. Yeah. See, if you kill me, kill my character mm -hmm. on television, you killed the character, but you didn't kill me. Yeah. But if I put on, let's say I put on a uh, overalls. Yeah. I really put the overalls on. Mm -hmm. Right. For sure. Let's say I kiss the fence. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I really kissed that fence. Yeah. So that means I really committed that act. That wasn't. Yeah. That wasn't acting. Exactly. And I know. Oh, go ahead. I don't want to cut. No. No. Wisdom. No. No, go ahead. No, nah, I was going to say, no, that's a fact. And I'm, I, that's why I wanted to speak about it because it's like eventually, I, I mean, not even eventually, I plan on doing like getting into movies and shows or whatnot. And it's like, I already been made my mind, like obviously what you just said, it's certain things I'm just not doing. Right. It's because I've, I know it's been stories like, I forgot what the guy name is. Um, then he did a role where he was like, yo, he had to go, like he had to like to go away from his family after all because you really took on those spirits. Like, I think it was the movie, uh, uh, not married black woman, but the one something where he threw kids out the windows, like he really was like drinking. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. It's like, bro, it's like certain things I'm not doing. I'm not playing no rape roles. I'm not playing no uh domestic violence roles. It's like it's certain things I just so can't that's, take that's that so spirit funny. on. So you're right, cause mm -hmm. it's it could be very dark, of course. Yeah. I just did a I just finished a movie on Lifetime called mm -hmm. Girl in the Closet, and it was mm -hmm. a dark role mm -hmm. where my wife in the movie mm -hmm. was we were abducting. You know, kids, children, and like America mentally, does. mentally, <laughs> uh, you know, quote unquote, retarded people. Mm -hmm. I don't know the proper term. Yeah. 
Out of respect, we want to. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. I don't want to, you know. But mm-hmm. at any rate, that that was a dark role for me, and mm-hmm. I and I even lightened the character up, bro, and it mm-hmm. was still dark. Yeah, because it's one thing, you no, know, to play a role like that because I really never even performed any of those acts, mm-hmm. but it's another thing to play a role like that to be able to talk about how serious that type of stuff is. Yeah, right. Like that gave me a platform to be able to talk about. We have to be more intentional with our children and not yeah. let them in, go any and everywhere. Yeah. I'm talking about even with family. Yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah. most people who are abused are abused by people that are very close to them yeah. in proximity to them. And in this, in this, in this movie, the aunt, mm-hmm. my wife played in the movie was the aunt of a do- of a little girl mm-hmm. that we had in the closet in the basement. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it's a lot. You, the people who you think are closest to you can yeah. be the ones that really like. Like yeah. my, my mentor always says, your biggest enemies are those of your own home, mm-hmm. and your own kind. Yeah. Right. Because they know your weaknesses too, and they're mm-hmm. blinded by your light. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we're blinded by our own light, right. but they could be blinded by your light. Yeah. Oh, that's just him showing up. He just mm-hmm. they take your greatness for granted. Exactly. But when you go, when you leave that land, hmm. quote unquote, proximity away from them, yep. everybody else like, man, you you different. Yeah. But your people can't see it because mm-hmm. they're blinded by your light. So your biggest enemies are sometimes are those of your own home. And your biggest enemies are those who can't see their light. So why would they ever celebrate yours? Exactly. If I don't know mine, why would I ever celebrate yours? That's crazy. Exactly. It definitely is. If yeah. I got abused mm-hmm. when I was young, mm-hmm. then I'm going to do the same thing to you because that's all I know. Yeah. And and I and that's that's the one thing like you said like going with family obviously when I was younger it's like it, it's like I haven't revealed this ever but it's like I had a family member not I wouldn't even call him family I think I still struggle with this it was like an ex husband that um obviously my mom didn't know at the time and it's like now we talk about it and it's like I'm trying to find my peace in it but it's like some days like if I see the person or I, I find that they did something because it's still when it's still when kids are involved it's like that person always is going to be involved obviously it was just more like. I still got problems with that person in a sense. Like, and it's like, I'm trying to find my peace with it um, from things they've done to like, not just to me, but maybe to my family members as well. And it's like, I, I have yet to overcome it. And I, I don't know. It's like, I'm not the, I speak with my uncle, which unfortunately couldn't make it today. It's like, I like a lot of certain things like these bring vengeance in my heart. And I was like, I know that's not pure. And it's like, that's one thing I'm struggling. I'm just being transparent. It's like, Absolutely. I'm trying to figure out like, how do I find peace in these things? Because I don't want to let this tame me, and now it's like I'm all I'm going backwards versus evolving, bro. Once again, the uh, being in a carnal state, mm-hmm. we 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 fight with that yeah all that the time. righteousness and darkness yeah. all the time, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's like when you touch a child, like immediately you're going to a place where hold up, you like mm-hmm. man, how could you even do yeah. anything like that? Yeah. Right, like immediately. But it wasn't that that extent, thankfully. But it was in, it was uh, close enough. But, but yeah. still, yeah, I got you. Like just yeah. even in a ballpark. Yeah, yeah, in a like, ballpark. I don't yeah, even yeah. want you to be at the family reunion yeah, of playing yeah, with yeah. no children. Yeah. But I understand why you would be in a space where you yeah. like it's not a forgiveness space. Yeah. But I think that you know, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 sometimes it's hard for us to lean on that. Mm-hmm. But the vengeance may not even come from you. Yeah, it might just come from them getting what they deserve down yeah. the road. Like, I think there's a fine line between karma and destiny. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Talk about like, like talk about they, they kind of intertwine to me. Because mm-hmm. somebody, someone may say, man, you planted that seed and you deserve that. Mm. So, like, if you look at a story in the Bible like Job, somebody would say, well, why did Job deserve bad karma? He was mm-hmm. noble. He had, he had his children. He had, he had mm-hmm. money. He was great, man. He was an upright man. Mm-hmm. So why did he deserve to have the bad things that happened to him happen to him? That wasn't because of karma. That was because that was his destiny. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. But in other times, it's like karm- karmic energy helps because if you plant a seed and mm-hmm. you cultivate that seed and it grows a harvest, that's karma too. Yeah. All karma ain't bad. Yeah, exactly. That's See what I'm saying? Yeah. We just look that, at karma exactly, as bad because yeah. that's that's the picture that's tainted and painted of Correct. it. Correct. But I think that destiny and karma intertwine. Mm-hmm. But overall, what's for you won't never pass you. Exactly. But see, you might pass it. Mm. If you're not ready That part You see what I'm saying So like being a parent Being wealthy Being you know Entrepreneur mm-hmm. Like all these things That we we Attain Or yeah. or, or Want to attain Or Correct. achieve In this in this world um, Many times Like we don't We don't understand that That right. power in that You know Yeah So yeah 
Nah, man, I appreciate it. I want I want to also go into your 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 um foundation. Um, mm-hmm. What what's it called again? It's called C- the Cedar Foundation. C- C- okay, cool. I know I wrote it down. I just kind of no. It remember. stands for creating empowerment mm-hmm. through autonomy. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, being an athlete, artist, entertainer, mm-hmm. so to speak, right? Yeah. And I and I use those terms lightly, of course, mm-hmm. because I I know that I'm I'm way more than more that. more than that, of course, for sure. But for the lack of better terms, all of the things that I do really help feed back into that ministry, that ecosystem. Yeah. Because Cedar Foundation, we we have an opportunity to use our platform to be able to draw people in to mm-hmm. then give them a, a certain level of our truth. Yeah. Right? Where we teach young people everything that they won't get in the traditional education system. So Correct. in our after-school program, we're teaching them about credit and taxes. Mm-hmm. We're teaching them what food to eat. We're teaching them how to have what we call Godfidence. Correct. A confidence in themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 instead of confidence. We want you to have confidence or confidence yeah. because if you have that, then you can go in any any realm, any area, and, and and really not just succeed or have success, but you can be significant. Yeah, right. Part. Like there's a difference between success and significance, and we mm-hmm. teach those young people that. Yep. Like you don't have to be an, an athlete, artist, entertainer, dope boy, stripper yeah. to be great. You know, great. But unfortunately, society pushes That's that pushed narrative, that, yeah. right? So when we start to tell them about, you know. Halas Salasi's of the world, mm-hmm. Mansa Musa's of the world, yeah, Marcus Garvey's of the world. You know what I mean? People who um, who change the narrative, but don't, they're not celebrated on a mm-hmm. pop culture perspective because right. they change. Yahweh being yeah. Yahweh's of the world, like they those people don't get celebrated mm-hmm. intentionally, of course. Intentionally, yep. and at the at the end of the day, um, this is not a movement that we pushing to try to convince coercive co- or, or, or um, you know manipulate anyone mm-hmm. to think like us uh, of course just think but w- just think you just ain't got to think. think like me just, just think, think like me i yeah. decided to think that's what changed yeah. my life mm-hmm. so you ain't got to think part. like me just think like me yeah yeah that <laughs> you know part. what i'm saying Facts. so they're going so, over their heads i know that, that might come <laughs> yeah. out only, you only, said it twice they got it only the remnant they, only yeah. the remnant to get that man <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, yeah. and if you don't it's okay you get it that's the part that they got plant the seed though well we we plant we're planting a seed yeah it's not always meant for us to plant the seed water the seed and harvest the land. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we just meant to plant the seed. Sometimes we we come in and we harvest the land by saying something that, oh, somebody else planted that seed and we came and boom. And now they manifest the harvest from what the words that we drop. Cause this yeah. is food. This is spiritual food we're, we're giving right now. Exactly. You know, uh we we don't have anything on much on our stomachs right now, mm-hmm. but we have a lot in our heart. Mm-hmm. We have a lot in our mind. Correct. You know, and so that's what we're giving, man. And and because it's genuine we always get what mm-hmm. you call reciprocity yeah. from the creator, you know, and, and I grateful. and I stand on that. Yeah, I'm su- I'm grateful. supremely grateful, bro. Exactly. Because to 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 it takes a lot to be in a space where you have a lot mm-hmm. of inventory. Yeah. You know, and mm-hmm. to whom much is given, much is really truly required. Yeah, that part. Yeah. You know, it sure. really is. Yeah. You know, so Cedar Foundation, man, to get back to Cedar, that's 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 that heartstring for yeah. me. Because um, it, it's so many people that need help that and need healing, right? right? And you can't help and heal everybody. Yep. But whoever comes in your path, man, if you can be that light for them, you know, kudos to you. No, nah, for sure. And it's, it's a few things I even want to take out that first, I, that, that reminds me of what I have, my initiative under Evolve Through Experience. I started Project Prevail, not pretty much like maybe a year after I started this because it was like, when people support this purpose, I want them to understand it's like it's bigger than a brand. But in the day, I wanted to not just talk about it, but be about it. So it's like when I decided, like, no matter what I sell under this brand, under this purpose, that a percentage is always going to go back to people in need. So, for example, mm-hmm. like during the, the time with George Floyd, Tamika Mallory organization, Until Freedom, I made shirts and I gave 100 percent of the profits away. For those shirts that I wanted people to understand, like, yo, this is not about no money for me. This is like, this is purpose. And purpose is always going to supersede any amount of money, no matter what it is. So it's like, I wanted people to understand, like, yo, when you shopping forever, I want you to know, like, I'm going to go back and really help people and where they need to be. So I want to, if somebody may, we may be trying to give somebody a bag of chips, but maybe they need water. So let me meet them where they're at. You need water? Let me give you water. Maybe you need both. So let me give you both, not just what I think is best for you. Let's really help people prevent and succeed obviously mm. it boils down to them also making that decision but right. let me help where i can help 
And if after that, you it's on it's on your own road, bro. And right. at the end of the day, I'm going to wish you the best. I can't get caught up where it stresses me out. But at the end of the day, I'm going to wish you the best and help where I can, especially if these are the resources you say you need. Prevailing through what? A project Prevail. I just project call it Project Prevail. Prevail. Yep, Project Prevail. And it just goes mm. hand in hand with evolving through experience. So it's like, as I grow, it's like, if if something happens, you know, we got companies like uh, American Red Cross, and I don't mind saying them, where they'll get $100 million and give a million dollars back to the people they just raised $100 million for. That, the, the number's not math. No, the CEO is a lot crazy. Of these, the yeah. CEOs, a lot of these companies make so much money, and, and they it, the, the money rarely gets funneled back into yep. the initiative. Yep. Right? That part. And, and 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 unfortunately, once again, we live in a world where it's the American mm-hmm. scheme, but they think it's the American dream. <laughs> that part. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I can say that I can mm-hmm. say that with no malice in my heart, mm-hmm. because once again, when you're not uh, when you're a spiritual activist, you mm-hmm. look at things spiritually. Correct. I don't look at I don't look at a mascot. I look mm-hmm. at the message. That part. You see what I'm saying? I yeah. don't look at a a, 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 a color of someone. Yeah. I look at the message that they're presenting Present, with that. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I'm just so... I'd be in surface view. I'm enamored with giving back, mm-hmm. but I'm more enamored with giving back to people who want to receive it. Because you can't help people who don't want to help themselves. Agreed. You know, and the, the, and I, going back to my point about the biggest enemies of those of your own home or your own kind. With them. With, when I put my bullets in my gun, unfortunately, it's for a person that looked like me. That part. I, I, don't, have, I don't have a redneck... A uh, white boy at the gas station trying to rob me. Yeah, I got somebody that looked like me, me on that type of time. That part. So, so we gotta really understand. Like this yeah. is this is real. Like you are, too, yeah. you are, you are, you are a commodity. Yeah, homie. People want people you. like us are commodities to mm-hmm. the to the nation. Yeah. So if we if we are um, looking to be protected though mm-hmm. and, and to be covered, yeah. we also gotta put ourselves in a position to not be exposed, so exactly. to speak. Because yeah. darkness hates light, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes the people that you're trying, the very people you're trying to help, would be the people that will kill you. Yeah, that part. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and that's that's unfortunate, Unfor- but that's our reality, homie. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I had to learn that because when I first became truly conscious and 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 evolved to where I am, today. I feel like today, mm-hmm. or not even today, because where I'm today, like when you meet me in two, when you see me in two days, you might have to re meet me. Yeah. Cause I that I part. evolve I evolve yeah, every day. As you homie. should. You might as have to mess should. around and re meet me. I should. Bro, as I'm you hey, should. man, don't steal me bags. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, facts. Cause, cause <laughs> the person who you met last, yeah. that ain't me no yeah. more. I'm not him. Exactly. You shouldn't be him. So because of that, though, people don't want to see you succeed past yeah. them. People like to see you succeed, but not, not past them. Correct. You know what I'm saying? That and part. Unfortunately, the very people. That, well, like bro, everybody on their own time. Yeah. Unfortunately, the yeah. very people who you think. Want to. Are for you mm-hmm. that you're trying to help will be this very people that'll that try part. to kill you. That part. I mean, take all the stories. Yeah. The people Judas had, Judas was one mm-hmm. of the disciples, homie. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? When you look at all the stories and, and people who get robbed, it was people Killed. who they knew, yeah. people who was in they, were in their home. Mm-hmm. I, I scoped you out. I yeah. knew your weakness. And that so part. I took you out. Yeah. So that I mean. That, yeah, that's more what, than one life lost. That's why yeah. I'm very. That's why I like to deal with children. Yeah, saving them early because, because one of these, you know what? Well, get to yeah. Hey, listen, I I got a sword. Yeah, like my Bible is for those that do believe. Yeah, my sword is for those that don't believe. Mm-hmm. And I and I'm that very part. serious about that. Nah. because I come in so much peace and with so much love. love yeah. I know when you playing with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm so goofy, kiki, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, but, but when I put yeah. it's that warrior hat yeah. that gotta come on at yeah. sometimes because people think it's sweet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People really do and and, and so I don't wanna harp on that so much. Mm-hmm. But I think that that's the that's the holistic mm-hmm. part of life. Yeah. People think it's just duality. I yeah. think it's circular, cyclical. Yeah. Everything. It's a holistic thing. Mm-hmm. Like some days I might have a good day at work, but a bad day at home. Mm. Everything that went part. all bad and everything went all good. So it's not just duality. Yeah. It's, or it's not just polarity. Yeah. Yeah, we got east, we got west, but we got something in the middle. Yeah. That part. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got yeah, north, but we got south, yep. but it's we got in something middle. in the middle, homie. Yep. And so I think when we stop looking at it, at things is just black and white. Mm-hmm. It gives us a, 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 a bigger perspective to be able to see how things happen in life. You know, it's not one thing that just happened because of, of that thing. Correct. There's not just prejudice and racism because mm-hmm. of this thing. It's It's holistic. And, um, you know, 
to, to harp on that, this last piece, it's not about black versus white. Mm -hmm. It's about darkness versus light. Correct. Wrongness versus right. Right, yep. Righteous. Because once again, black versus white is external. Mm -hmm. Darkness versus light is internal. Correct. Right? Exactly. Going back to the spirit, going saying, back to yeah. the within. Whether it's acting, speaking, my books, my nonprofit, mm -hmm. real estate, whatever it is you're doing, if your intentions are only, only self-gratifying, mm -hmm. if your intentions don't have a greater purpose behind it, then how, how much peace can you really have when you go to sleep at night? Not much. You know, and like for me, this is therapeutic for me as well because mm -hmm. it even holds me to a higher standard because I know what I need to do accountable-wise. Mm -hmm. But you, when iron sharpens iron, that's mm -hmm. a higher standard. Yeah. Now it ain't like, bro, you should have did that. No, mm -hmm. I already, I'm already doing that, yeah. and I know I should be doing that. Right. So now, when you get with other iron, sharpens iron, steel sharpens steel. More importantly, wheel sharpens wheel. Mm -hmm. So now we can keep going with one another because there's something that you do, like the shark and the lion and the eagle, that's mm -hmm. greater than me. If you in the ocean as a shark and he in the in the air as an eagle, and I'm on land as a lion. Mm -hmm. Man, imagine when we bring it together. You come on the land, I got you. You come in the water, you got him. He come in the air, and the eagle got him. Mm -hmm. But, man, uh, uh I want this to be Eagle Enterprises. <laughs> eagle I, Enterprise. I got to have my name on yeah. everything. Yeah. Unfortunately, bro, mm -hmm. why? Mm -hmm. Kill the head and the body dead. We move further and faster in stealth mode. We move right. further and faster hey. when they don't know who, quote, unquote, it is. They say, like, who is they? The oppressor? Correct. <laughs> who is they? The, the person who's against righteousness? Correct. That's who they is. Yeah. Like people always, people say that all the time. Yeah. When, when you say who is they, who is they? Okay, people who telling you politics is politics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we know. <laughs> you know what yeah, saying? we know. We know. <laughs> we know. So yeah. you know, people who feeding up, feeding our people garbage food. Correct. Do we got to be more specific than that? No. Nah. Okay. That's why I said. That's why I switched up a lot and like just trying to lead by example. But at the same time, like we said, we understand everybody's on their own time, and that's okay. The best speech I'm gonna give is the life I live. Mm -hmm. So when somebody says, "Man, dang, you almost 42," yeah, and the some of the people I grew up with look like they used to walk my grandma to school. Yeah, let's be real. Yeah, like like some of the people your age look like my age. Yeah. We got some. We got a problem here. I made it backwards. So that's <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. As am yeah, I. Yeah. Because I got. I found a recipe. Yep. I found the information. It over though. It's like, nah, I got you. Money ain't power. Yeah. Facts. Education ain't power. Yeah. Information is power, bro. Right. And if you got good information, you can have it. good power. Yep. If you have bad information, you're going to display bad power. Yep. Which is why we've been, even though we're the most powerful people on the planet, we're the most what sickest people on yep. the planet. Got to execute once you get because it. you don't you don't take advantage of the melanin. Mm -hmm. You don't take advantage of the of of the chosenness in the spirit. Correct. You don't take advantage of the, you the only people in the planet who hell grow up to God. Exactly. Everybody else here grow down. You don't take advantage of that. There's a lot. You don't take advantage of the fact that you're the only people who heal from the sun. That Everyone else gets killed from being in it too much. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Cancer. I I just love the dialogue, bro, from a young brother. Appreciate and it, doing bro. doing this at your age mm -hmm. because your generation needs to hear someone like me who's been celebrated by by pop culture mm -hmm. and still grounded in yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Like, like, bro, I promise you, I'm not flawless, but I'm faithful to my purpose. Yeah. And instead of chasing paper, I chase my purpose. That part. That's what you was talking about earlier. Yeah. We get enamored with chasing the bag. Yeah. But you you chase the bag, right? Mm -hmm. And then you get home and it's still empty. Empty. You oh. still feel emptiness. Yeah. You got a bank full of money, but you still broken. Yeah, that part. Right? Yeah. You got crypto, but you really crippled in your spirit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It's unfortunate, but this is what we're dealing with. You know, mm -hmm. you got a bunch of gold, but you feel old. Yeah. Dang, Steve Jobs Dang. died at 56. And his last, I seen his last words. You seen the last words he said, right? No, tell me. Oh, he was like, um, he he wished pretty much he, um, I'm gonna sum it up. He just wished he enjoyed the flowers. Obviously, he died with all his wealth, but he was like, he wished if he could do it, he could do it again. He would have went back and enjoyed the moment, 56. spent time with his family. Yep, and was years, sick. Yep, fifty six years young. Yeah, he died worth nine billion. Yep, and he couldn't pay nothing. nobody to rent his cancer. Nope. Don't he couldn't like pay nobody to hey man, take this pancreatic cancer out of my body. Yep. So come on, man. Yeah. We, we, we live in a culture that tell you, let's be real, sleep mm -hmm. when you're dead. Huh? <laughs> I used to think that mindset too, yeah. Sleep when I'm dead? Yeah. Bro, unfortunately, 
These people tell you right in your face what's going on, but you don't see it. Yep. They Even tell the you, industry, they yep. call it the graveyard shift. Correct, yep. You're, work, you're gonna die, homie, because yeah. your body need to rest. Yeah. It's called a graveyard shift. Yeah, that part. Am I lying? <laughs> no, no, you're if you don't, When right. the sun go down, we're <laughs> supposed to go down. Yeah. That's when we turn up. Yep. That part. Man, I got fucked up last night. Yep. Huh? What? Yeah. <laughs> Stuff to make Man, you I now, fell in love. Different. You yeah. ain't rising in love? Yeah. Man, I'm finna settle up. down. Yep. Nope. I'm, what about leveling Rising up? Rising up, yeah, facts. Man, I'm a compromise man. With it. No, nah. I need somebody to compliment me. Yeah, that's I can fine. compromise on my damn yeah. self. Facts. <laughs> that's the language is so dead, bro. Yeah. That's and why I, we even, have to be very intentional about conscious language. Exactly, and that's why I'm learning every day, even down to what they say is fall, and like at the day it's a new year. How are we starting a new year when everything is dead Bro, <laughs> or dying? That's why they say yeah. April Fools. Because yeah. you fools think the yeah. new year was in January when it's really in March. Yeah, that part. They call you. This is what I'm saying. They say it, they put tell it so far you in your the, face. Yeah. <laughs> Easter bunnies don't lay eggs. Chickens lay yeah, eggs. Exactly. But you still want to celebrate. That. Okay. So, hey. Just on. <laughs> listen, Halloween. <laughs> exactly. What do they do with the pumpkin? Cut, cut it up, make all and they take the brain out of the pumpkin. Faces, yeah, they take the meat out of the pumpkin, yeah. so it makes the brain hollow. It's the it's the head, yeah, pumpkin head. They take the brain out, and so it's hollow. If mm -hmm. your brain is hollow, I can wean you in whatever direction I want to wean you. That in. part, Halloween. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the words. Pay attention to the etymology of mm -hmm. what they're telling you. People will tell you who they are. You just have to be able to see it. Yep. And with that being said, it's, it's perfect you just brought that back because, like you said, they tell you exactly, and it's like a lot of people don't want to accept it. They see it, and it's like I think people got so content with it. And I know we were just saying we can't save everybody, and I was having this conversation. I was like, at people that are trying to save everybody, it's like, and that's why I was like, it's a it's a battle because, like, what if we give people what they really need? But it's like if you don't really want to help, it ain't going to matter, of course. No. But it's also the fact of, like, at what point do we stop trying because – I was talking about her friend, and she's like, could you think we could save people? I'm like, at what cost? We, we could keep trying, but at what cost? What, That's what real. If, at what cost are we trying to keep saving everybody? We may be able to do it, but at what cost? So we used to be in an age of uh, Pisces, the fish age. Uh -huh. Remember you used to see fish on everybody's card? That was yeah. the age. Yeah. Now we're in the age of Aquarius. Yeah. That age was many are called, few are chosen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. Many are called, call, few are chosen. chosen. Correct. So you can try to call everybody you yeah. want, but it's only a few people that's going to yeah. be chosen. Facts. Now, we live in the age of Aquarius, which is the water bearer. Mm -hmm. The water bearer comes and whoosh, spreads mm -hmm. water so you can see everything. Correct. So the water bearer is technology. Technology gives us the opportunity mm -hmm. to be able to see things mm -hmm. that we couldn't see. You can look up things. You have a, Your intelligent phone is more intelligent than you. That part. You know, the most... The most Important intelligence can't be artificial. It got to be actual. Correct. But because you're not connected to actual intelligence, you lean on artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. But with, that's another story. Nah, we, that, that's a whole... I had actually had an AI question for <laughs> okay, you. Okay, well, we can, we can talk of <laughs> that. But the water bearer in Aquarius, now everybody's called. Before, mm -hmm. many were called. Now everybody's called because mm -hmm. everybody has access to the information mm -hmm. because the water bearer just cleared everything out. Correct. Man, I could see it. Mm -hmm. Right? But everybody's still not going to choose, homie. Yep. Everybody's still not gonna choose. That's what. That's the. That's the thing. So, at, to what point am I going to say I'm gonna try to help everybody, as opposed to saying the best help I'm gonna give you, and the best speech I'm gonna give is what the life I live. That's why I said that. Because if you're living mm -hmm. a certain life, now you don't have to project anything. Correct. Your energy projects, and then somebody gonna be like, "Hey, man, I want to think like you. I want to look like you. I want to mm -hmm. live like you. I want to love like you. How did you do that? Now." You have an audience mm -hmm. that came to you, homie. Yeah. You didn't go reaching to them. Yep. Before, That's the best you standing market. on the corner trying to reach to somebody that don't want to be reached to. Yep. It ain't going to matter. What? Yep. So really that's mean. where it's at for me. Okay. Makes sense. I like if that. So, if Great you see a nice car, if you see something shiny, if you see something that looks good and smells good and tastes good and it and sounds good, mm -hmm. will it not get your attention? Yeah, definitely. Now, when you get there, it's up to you to have a level of discernment and intuition whether or not that's genuine. Or mm -hmm. whether or not that's something else. That's, a, that's Correct. you know, another side yeah. just trying to lure you in. Correct. That's where your groundedness comes yep, in at. Exactly. That's where your discernment comes in. Correct. And vice versa. Yep. Because somebody can come to you as the shiny thing, but mm -hmm. you have to discern whether or not their intentions are good for you to even teach them. 
Correct. Or for you to even share with them, not yeah. teach them. Yeah. Because the greatest teacher is the is the student. Mm -hmm. Always the student. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So that's where mm -hmm. that's where intuition, clear. Yeah. Once again, invisible. Mm -hmm. Discernment, intuition, clairvoyance, the invisible world, bro. It always <laughs> nah, goes sure. back to that space. <laughs> because if I'm if I'm flying too high, um, everybody sees me. Yeah. Nobody saw you in the valley when you was grinding. Yeah. A lot of people can't see you in stealth mode, but everybody see you on that mountain. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like my mentor always says, man, the bigger your audience, the bigger your audit. Mm. Right? You want more followers on the gram. You want more subscribers on YouTube. You want more, but you mad that somebody saying something crazy on your page? Yeah. Everybody ain't going to vibe with you. Yeah. I'm not that everybody part. type. Yeah. I know this. Facts. That part. Everybody can't stomach this shit, yeah. man. Can I that curse part. on here? I mean, I have at this to point, nah, I, I have to tell curse. Me, nah, you haven't. And I, I, I started off with no cursing, but it's like I also have a slo a slogan uh -huh. that I, I have a shirt that actually I made from the brand. It's called F Society Beliefs because lies lie in the middle of beliefs. So it's you. Man, you hey, listen, that's in I, my book, yeah, bro. I've been saying it for the long. I've been saying that since like 2018. F Society Beliefs. Listen, no. Yeah. Look, I have to curse because our people aren't a yeah. curse. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't say nothing when the, when the rapper's cussing you out. Yeah, yeah. I'm cursing to liberate you. That Somebody part. else cursing to keep you in bondage. Correct. And unfortunately, that's the language, that mm -hmm. vibration You're gonna catch. that yep. you can hear. Yep. You're used to that frequency yep. getting your attention. Yep. So let me go on and give it to your ass blood raw. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Now, now you can. Now liberate you. Now, yep. okay, uh, yep. you draw them in. Facts, that part. That's the shiny yeah. language that drew them in so yeah. then you can hit them with... Hey man, you greater than your circumstances. Correct. No matter what card you've been dealt, homie, you a king. Yep. Now, that now part. we can inspire you. That part. But I had to draw you in. Correct. By something worldly. Mm hmm Something Euro, a language. Yeah. We speak in English. That's a European language. Yeah. So can I use this too, in the same yeah. language to liberate my people? Correct. That that Why language not? that has kept us in bondage. Why not? That's yes. the only way you're gonna grab the attention. <laughs> in the middle of the word, belief is lie. Yep. So tell our vision and Religion yep. shape your belief. Mm -hmm. In the middle of television is lie. In the middle of religion is lie. Mm -hmm. Religion and television, pop culture shape your belief system. Now, if we should know the truth and the truth shall make us free, mm -hmm. then why are we not free? Because mm -hmm. we've been lied to. That part couldn't have been said better. <laughs> everybody, it's gonna go over some people's head. Like you said, we're not for everybody. And at the end of the day, as long as you think, you don't have to agree. But if you think, eventually you'll find out. Because eventually nobody out. wants to do look in the mirror. Yeah, that self reflection. They want to. Bro, don't project your fears on me. Yep. Is bro. That's how I, I jumped I, out of the plane. I deflect all <laughs> negative energy, yeah. bro. Even the people that watch it. Yeah. I deflect it. Mm-hmm. Because because if if it's not for you, then you might not, you're not gonna overstand it anyway. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You're gonna automatically be I'm you're gonna automatically be offended. Yeah, exactly. I'm not here to, I'm not here to offend you. But if you get offended, then you better go look in the mirror. Yeah. And that's one you of my favorite saying? quotes. That that's crazy because Emory Jones, obviously you know who that is. J J Jay Z right hand man. No, I he don't did know. Ten, yeah, he did ten. He did like a, a ten year bid or whatnot. But long story short, he um he actually said a quote like, "What we don't like in others, we can often find in ourselves." And it's like I love that quote. That's my favorite quote to this day. I, so when bro. I'm getting mad with somebody, I'm like, "Okay, I've done that before. Let me chill out." People I, do I, two things, yeah. bro. They either reflect or deflect. Yeah, reflection is best. But reflection, yeah. you're gonna only reflect what reflects mm -hmm. you. Within. A reflection can be bad too. Yeah. Oh man, man, that podcast is whack. Well, you must be whack. Yeah. Cause what you see in me got to be in you. Yeah. So I've learned to either reflect or deflect. Mm -hmm. When I get bad energy, I'm deflecting yeah. it. Correct. Makes sense. Ah, ah, get away. <laughs> that I, part. I got I should have nah. brought my hater blockers, nah, but I ain't nah. around no haters. <laughs> nah, of course, of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good energy. But it, it's bro, it's all love. And I think nah. that once you once you operate on that space and in that realm, mm -hmm. you start to really you start start to really be more convicted. There's right. a difference between uh believing in something mm -hmm. and knowing something. You only know, you only believe in what you don't know. Mm -hmm. You only have faith in what you don't know. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When you know something. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's a difference. That part. I know I'm not self-created. Mm -hmm. I know I can't tell my heartbeat to stop mm -hmm. or my pancreas or my liver or my colon to turn off. Mm -hmm. I know that. Now, you might could trick yourself. Well, I can breathe and I can do this and I can tell my heart. <laughs> okay, play, yeah. play, play with that if you want to. Yeah. I'm telling you what I know. Mm -hmm. And when you know something, bro, that's, that's conviction. Yeah. That's not no, that's not no belief. Correct. Hey, man, that, that'll change your life. 
You know, when I when I knew who, when I started knowing who y'all was yeah. for me, different level tapped into. Man, listen, different level. I won't I won't ever allow what I can't do to interfere with what I can do, bro. Mm-hmm. And I can I can know. Mm-hmm. A lot. <laughs> I can know mm-hmm. that I know that I know. Correct. Man, yo, like I told you, this, this, we could go on all day, but no, man, could. nah, this this is definitely we're gonna definitely have to get another episode for yeah, sure. For I, sure, I really bro. enjoyed this. I know this was a a long one, but it was a necessary one. It was a substantial <laughs> one that people really need to hear. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, because like I said, it, it's like we said, it's life or death. It, we got to come about it or don't come about it at all. Yep. And again, if y'all y'all enjoyed this episode, you gained something from this episode. Definitely like it, share it, follow, share it with a friend. Even if you don't like it, share it. Put it in the comments why you don't like it. That's going to help the engagement anyway, yeah, right? So, no, yeah, real. let's put this out into the world because, again, this is life or death. And, again, this episode is dedicated to my aunt because yesterday she actually gave up a kidney for my grandmother, and that's selfless. And that takes a lot, and people wonder why I take this so serious because, again, it's life or death. I have to take care of my body, my health in every aspect mm. because these are the primary reasons why. These are the examples why. It's all evolving through experience. And if you're living, if you're breathing, you're alive, you're evolving through experience in some aspect. Whether you realize it right now or not, you are. So make sure y'all follow the brand, Shop ETE, Project Prevail. Where can people follow you at? Everything. Stevie, and I'm going to put it at the bottom. Everything <laughs> is my name. I'm mm-hmm. Stevie Bags Jr. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. TikTok. Put your, yep, TikTok. TikTok. But, but put your face in a book. Yeah. You know, I I, mm-hmm. I can I can put my face that in part. more books. You know give what us, I mean? Give us one book. Oh man, Sh- I know woke. you got a lot. Whoa, the hey, dictionary gonna, for the conscious we, we mind. We gonna put that out. I got yeah, you. I got yeah, you. I'm gonna put that at the bottom. They, yeah, yeah, I go got read, you. Go read that one. Who better but, book than mine? Yeah, yours, exactly. Right? But but no, <laughs> of course. I mean, the the greatest book that I read, I'm gonna mm-hmm. tell you, man, is the Bible. Mm-hmm. That's that's the greatest book yeah. I can ever read. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you want to just talk about just authors and people, there's so many amazing books out there that just give you information. And I'm really not an avid reader as much mm-hmm. as I should be, to mm-hmm. be honest. No, I appreciate the transparency. But yeah, because I, I think that we all learn different. Of course. You know what I mean? I think we Agreed. all learn different. You know what I mean? A thousand and, percent. I agree and, with that. And I could, I could hear a word and go research it and, and take just as much from it. So Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it's a gift. Uh, so many authors, man. I, mm-hmm. I would be remiss to just name say one and, and forget about nah, for sure. Of course, at least you said joy. So, yeah. Yeah, so, I got to say, I got to plug. I gotta plug <laughs> yeah, mine. play it safe. Nah, for sure. Well, now, nah, again, y'all, if y'all enjoyed the episode, make sure you follow. Check us out. Appreciate it. That's a wrap. Peace and power.